All right, so today we're going to be looking at another uh, job posting, and this time we're looking at a job posting for a senior business analyst, and this is with the Metrolinks organization. Uh, and Metrolinks, for those of you who might not know, is a government agency that is basically responsible for consolidating a lot of the transit in southern Ontario, which includes the greater Toronto area. And so they're a large organization with a very big mandate, and they are looking for a business analyst that uh, deals with infrastructure. Now, the very first thing that uh, I really like about this job posting is the fact that they tell you right up front what they're looking for. So uh, this is not an estimated salary uh, from LinkedIn. This one is actually coming from Metrolinx themselves, and they're telling us that uh, for this senior analyst role, they're looking to pay uh, somewhere between eighty-two and one hundred and six thousand dollars. Now, typically what the employer uh, will do is that they'll go through an interview process and they'll look at the pool of candidates that they're looking to hire from. Uh, the person that they choose, they will assess on whether that person, where that person falls in this range. So they may fall closer to the 80,000, uh, 82,000 range or closer to the 106,000 range. Uh, the, um, when it comes to salaries, it's not really uh, a hard science. Typically what they try to do is they try to gauge the level of seniority that the person has. Based on that, they'll, they'll make an offer. Uh, if you are that candidate, you don't uh, always necessarily have to accept the first offer that they give. And so uh, salary negotiations is uh, its own area. But uh, they're starting things off on the right step here because they're really kind of putting their cards on the table and saying, look, this is what we're looking to pay for this role makes it very clear to you about uh, what some of the expectations that they're going to be having from you uh, if they're going to be paying this kind of salary. And those expectations are not low. Uh, you can see right away that what makes this uh, a very senior role is the fact that they are expecting uh, you in this role or whoever takes this role to be doing a lot more leading than actually being part of a project team. And so the first indicator that tells you that this is actually a senior analyst role is that you can see that they're starting off their very first ask here in this job posting is for you to be leading the deployment related projects, okay? Not being a team member with somebody who's a more senior analyst. You're now that person if you're taking this role. Uh, so you see that we're leading uh, peppered across this uh, job posting in a couple of different places. Uh, the next thing that gives away to me the fact that this is a much more senior analyst role and maybe even in encroaching on the role of a business architect is the fact that they expect you to take part in business strategy. And so typically most business analysts are at what's called the operations level. The operational level meaning that essentially what you're doing is you're helping the company build out its operations uh, so that they can function properly. When you start to move into the strategic level, what that typically means is that you're starting to deal with much more senior management. And instead of actually, uh, you know, be, when you're at the operational level, you're basically just doing what it is that management asks. When you start to get closer to the strategic level, what you're doing is you're helping management to figure out what they should actually be asking for. And that leads us right into this next thing that I've underlined here, which is the business case. Okay, so you can see here that you're working at the strategic level and they're asking you to take part in uh, producing business cases. Now, if I was to take us over to the curriculum that we looked at, you may remember if you've watched those videos, uh, is that what I said is that typically when you're first starting out your career, you do business fundamentals and then when you want to become a proper business analyst, you have to make sure you master business requirements and functional specifications. Now, many business analysts will choose to stay here and they're very happy and content doing this, but if an analyst is uh, wants to become much more senior, now they have two options, right? They can become a business systems analyst and start to follow uh, a lot more of this part of the picture here, or if they're not interested in becoming a business systems analyst, they can start to become more senior in their roles by producing business cases. And then there are a number of different things that go along with business cases, uh, one of which is project management, which we'll see uh, a lot more of when we dive deeper into uh, this post, right? So you can see right here that the basic elements that make this a senior analyst role are the fact that they're asking you to lead, they're asking you to take part more in strategic, uh, in the strategic aspects of the organization, which includes you helping management uh, develop business cases 
for the projects that they are uh, considering taking on. Uh, one of the other things that you'll see here is that they're asking you to now take part in the negotiation of the scope uh, of work. Uh, this is, it's, I think, might be a bit of a typo here in the posting. It says scope or work, but I think it should be scope of work. Uh, but basically what you're doing, uh, what a scope of work essentially uh, tells me uh, from this job posting is that Metrolinx uh, engages with uh, uh, outside vendors to implement their systems. Uh, because typically when you are asked to uh, produce or work on something called the scope of work, uh, what, what a scope of work essentially is, is the division of responsibilities between what Metrolinx is going to do internally and what their vendor, what the software vendor is going to do for them. The scope of work defines very clearly about what Metrolinx is going to be responsible for, so what the analysts and developers in Metrolinx are going to be doing versus uh, what the vendor is expected to do. And this scope of work is something that typically goes into the contract that Metrolinx creates uh, and signs off on uh, when they hire a third-party vendor. So knowing that you're expected to uh, take part in the scope of work uh, as a senior analyst, now this gives you some more hints as to whether you're going to be working a lot with other software vendors uh, or not. And the answer here is an absolute yes. So anytime I see the scope of work, I automatically know that the organization who's put out this posting is working with third-party vendors. Now, there's a lot more to go through uh, in this job postings, but uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make another video a little bit later on in the week because uh, I, I really like this job posting because it outlines uh, so many of the different activities that a business analyst uh, is expected to take part in, uh, especially when it's a business analyst who's moved into much more of a uh, senior analyst role uh, that does the business and systems architecture work and does the project management work. So I'll leave this video here, uh, but what I want you to do is I want you to take a look at the full job posting that I'm going to have uh, attached to this post inside of our community. And I want you to just read through it and to see whether there is anything in there that you don't understand. Because uh, in my next video, part of what I want to do is I want to start answering some of the questions that you have about this job posting. So uh, I want you to put in a little bit of work to understand uh, what is in this uh, posting so that uh, you can start getting answers to the questions that you want. Uh, in the next video, I'm going to do a much more thorough review of many of the different elements of this job posting so that you can start to see uh, what the difference is between a junior business analyst role and a much more senior business analyst role. And this should start to give you a sense of uh, whether a senior analyst role is something that you eventually do want to move into if you're not already close to it. And it, it should also give you a very good sense of where uh, you want your learning, uh, your future learning to go. Okay, so put in a couple of minutes, uh, take a look at a job posting. And if you have any questions or if you have any comments, post them below. And uh, I'll be uh, coming back with another video a little bit later on in this week uh, to talk about the rest of the job posting. Also, if you have any other job postings that you've run across that you want me to cover, uh, make sure that you include them in and I'll put them into the queue of postings that I'm going to be going through. All right, so I'll leave this one here and I'll see you a little bit later on in this week.